So there I was, running in PT, when all of a sudden my chest got super tight, couldn't breathe, and felt like I was going to pass out. Well, that's what happened when I forget to do my anatomy. Uh, this picture up here, basically this just shows, you know, the airway of someone with asthma. As you can tell, there's fluid in there, you know, not much air can get through. And that's just the airway of someone that's without asthma. Um, so it makes it really hard to breathe. Um, it can be triggered by either, like, viral. So, like, if you get sick, sometimes, you know, you can't, can't breathe or whatever, start wheezing. Uh, also, exercise-induced, which is what I have. Uh, some of the symptoms are wheezing, um, chest tightness, basically feeling like you can't breathe, can't get air. Uh, it can be serious. You can actually, you know, die from it if you have a serious asthma attack. Luckily, I've been lucky and haven't had any issues with it. Um, I have had pneumonia three times, which can be caused from asthma. Uh, some of the other causes are tobacco smoke. So if you smoke, or even if you get secondhand, it's possible you could get could have asthma, could get it. Um, not saying that you will, but you never know. Uh, obesity also can be a cause of asthma in some cases. Uh, if you're super stressed, basically that can make you like smoke or whatever, do basically stuff that. <coughs> uh, some of the effects: coughing, wheezing, tight chest. Um, but mainly, you know, you'll you'll know if you have it. You can tell, like for example, you know, when I run, I can't breathe and. I know you, know you know right away, but uh, sometimes the cold can make it worse. Like if it's cold outside, and then you know, so sometimes it's different for everyone. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same. Um, but so, yeah, some of the other symptoms. I mean, you can. It depends for everyone. It can be different. The only ones I've had really are you know wheezing, chest tightness, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, it can be really serious, like I mentioned earlier, but it can be controlled if you, you know, make sure you do your inhaler and all that, or whatever. There's also a nebulizer, which it's kind of like an inhaler, but it's like a big machine. Um, I used to use that when I was younger, but now you just use the inhaler, especially if you're going to be out, out and around, you know, like for example, for PT, I just keep it in my backpack. Um, my mom also has asthma, and it's been in my family, like a whole bunch of people in my family have it. Uh, my sister, you know, doesn't have it, but... It all depends. It can be genetic too. So, but basically, as long as you know you keep it controlled, it shouldn't be a problem.